<laughs> Just so you're aware, this shirt is backwards. The front of this shirt shows where I live and my university, so that's what we're not going to add on here. <laughs> hey guys, it's Angie Rush here, and today I decided to do a sit down chit chat video, but not just any chit chat video. It is a girl chat video. I love these videos. You guys don't even know I love them, but I don't do them enough. I do do a lot of talking on my channel, but I just love like, I just, I do a lot of talking on my channel, but I don't do a lot of in-depth or advice videos which are like honestly my favorite i love giving advice i'm the friend a lot of my friends come to for advice my friends call so like i love giving advice and i feel like this is a really interesting topic so before y'all watch this video go ahead and get your i have yogurt and granola in here i'm like so excited to eat this so is this a mukbang i guess so so i have yogurt and granola in here <laughs> and I got my tea ready. It's steaming, burning hot right off the stove. So we're gonna pour some of that in here. You guys see that steam? See, steaming hot. And if anyone knows me, I hate hot things. So I probably won't be drinking this tea for like a good 30 minutes. The type of tea I have is like a different type of tea. If you guys don't know, I'm anemic. I have iron deficiency issues, blah, blah, blah. So this tea is like a certain tea my mom and my aunties told me to drink to help my iron and my blood. And I'm gonna be putting some honey in both my tea and a little drizzle on top of my yogurt. Anyway, we should just get into this video because I'm super excited about it. Wait, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, but let's get into this video. So, a lot of you are new to my channel. Thank you and welcome to my new subscribers. And thank you for 800 subscribers. Are you freaking joking me? Currently, as I'm filming, we have 810 subscribers. I freaking love you guys. Wow, thank you so much. It's just showing you my hard work pays off and you guys enjoy my videos. Anyways, let's get into this video. I am chit chat and chit chatting. Today's video is about high school and what happens after high school. There is a video up on my channel of me crying about how I hate high school and it's really depressing. I don't watch a lot of my videos of me crying or if I'm upset because it takes me back to that place. All those videos are very real and very genuine. So I don't really watch those, but I do get notifications of people commenting and I always comment back to people. I love interacting with you guys. So there has been so many comments on that video. I've answered pretty much all of them, but a lot of the comments are regarding high school and a lot of the comments are people saying, I'm in high school too. I hate it, I can't wait to be done. Blah, blah, blah. That video is years old, by the way, and if you haven't seen it, I will link it below for you guys. But I am here to tell you that sad girl, yeah, her, she is here and she's thriving after high school. And I'm here to tell you and encourage you that after high school, if it's not the best years of your life, that's okay because it was the worst. I hated high school. Literally, I graduated a month early and I'm not even kidding you. Once I stepped foot out of high school, my confidence level went like through the roof. I hated high school. I felt like I was like the ugly duckling, I guess. I don't know. I didn't, hmm. I don't know how to say it. Like, I loved myself, but I hated myself at the same time because right when I got out of high school, I was just like top of the world confidence. But in high school is very, very, very toxic. Like, I did not like high school at all. I was one of those girls. I never had a, high, a boyfriend in high school. So to you girls who didn't have a boyfriend in high school, please stop tripping. Because after high school, literally, high school ended. It was the summer of high school um, ending. And I just, I encountered so many new people. I talked to so many boys new boys which I never expected because I was the shy one I went on like my first real date which is really interesting so like don't get stressed about boys if you don't have boys in high school boys in high school are like just ew anyway so you don't want those boys anyway but after high school I really got to experience like a boy life and really tried got to learn more about myself and what I like and I actually experienced my first relationship we all know that was a train wreck but I did experience my first relationship which was really cool and something like really excited I guess I learned about I felt like I was the late bloomer of like all my friends my last one to have a boyfriend last one to do this last one to do that last one to go to party like I went to like my first real party if you guys want a story time of that that was a why yo literally a helicopter is like mm. I got you on that but 
I'm just kind of talking in this video, but literally after high school, you feel like if you were in a mind state like me, you feel like a weight is lifted and you feel like you're free. Like literally take off the freaking shackles, like take off the shackles, take off the handcuffs. I'm free. That's how I felt right after high school. I got confident as hell. I started wearing no makeup as I'm wearing raw, no makeup right here because this is a girl chat video. So I do want to be like one day I probably will just do it in my bed. But for girl chat videos, I like just being free, no makeup, pajamas, just like chilling so i ha i started wearing no makeup i used to always go to school with makeup by the way i was very like i needed makeup i was the girl who woke up early and beat my face so i was ready for school that was me so after high school it was really refreshing that like i felt like i didn't need makeup i felt like the world is mine like that's how you feel because when you're in high school you kind of feel like you're trapped like you feel like there's nowhere to go but when you leave high school literally the world is yours and you can do in endless things so that's what i i loved i took about a year off of school to figure out what i wanted to do with my life and from there i explored i partied i oh i love partying to this day i love it i just love meeting new people i experienced i challenged myself i went through my first heartbreak i went through my first form of love i still don't know if i was really in love i went through my first series of dates i figured out what type of boys i liked definitely trial and error i had my second kiss um because in high school i did have my first kiss but like i had my second kiss outside of high school story time about that party <laughs> that will say it all i definitely changed when i went in high school mm, and then going out of high school, I changed the type of boys I liked. Um, I like more ethnic boys instead of the white boys, which is pretty interesting. Um, and I really like that shift that I did. Well, now obviously because I'm just like I changed, <laughs> but everything kind of just kind of changes for you in a good way. And I am here and living proof to tell you that it does change in a good way on your outlook on like you don't have much to compare to unless you're thinking of social media. I personally, I feel like I'm one of those rare people. I mean, I can't really say I'm those rare people because like a lot of my friends are intimidated by people on Line, but I have never been that person to compare myself to people online or compare my bodies to people online or like I've, it, like online has never affected me in that way and I know it affects a lot of people that way but that's kind of like what high school did to me I don't know I was very shy and quiet I'm hungry why am I not eating I just really wanted to make this video to tell you guys that if you're feeling down in high school or you're feeling lonely like guys I used to eat in like one classroom only or I used to eat by my locker like I did not like high school to say the least. High school to me was like a popularity contest. The real world is just y'all are doing your own thing. Might I add popularity in high school? X that because there's no popularity in the real world. So girl, all oh, you popular in high school? Okay, well in the real world, you are who? That's how we see you. So if you're discouraged that you're not popular in high school, girl, it's not even a big deal because in the real world, what is popularity unless you're like a celebrity? But like, what is popularity? Like, they're gonna walk down the street and y'all are just gonna pass each other. That's it. So if you feel some type of way that you're not popular in high school, trust me, after high school, there's no such thing. So, just so you know. <laughs> I just have to like, reel that in there because i know there's some popular people popular people that like pick on the kids that are not popular because like who has the time who has the time because girl after high school you are irrelevant you are irrelevant irrelevant so that person that you're picking on ooh, okay okay when she's a doctor and you go visit her who's popular now when he's a veterinarian and you need him, him to like check up your dog who's popular now i'm just stating facts people <laughs> also i wanted to add that people who are like popular in high school also feel that after high school they like are nothing like what else are they good for like girl there's so much things you're good for you have a purpose too don't get discouraged okay but i'm glad you had your amazing four years because some of us didn't <laughs> and that's just facts.
high school is very close-minded as well and there's so much drama that i'm just like not interested in but the real world is the real world you get to choose what friends you want to be friends with in high school you can choose what friends you have to be friends with but in high school it's a little more difficult because you see them every single day when you're outside of high school you'll know who your real friends are and who sticks and who doesn't stick and the drama won't matter a lot of the drama i don't even remember like can i even like i would think of people saying that and i'm like no nah, i'm gonna remember this drama i don't remember Probably 99.9% .9 of the drama that happened. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't, and it was just stupid, and I wasted my time with that drama, but I get it, when you're in high school, that's all that your life is, pretty much, and that consumes you, so it's okay. But this is for my people that are in high school or scared to go to high school. Don't be scared to go to high school, just be yourself, be free, be open, but if you don't like high school, don't be upset either, just focus on your grades and you'll do good you'll be fine now my shy introverted anxiety ass is miles away from my family because i decided to move to the states <laughs> not i would have never expected that so you never know where life takes you let me tell you that and i am happy with my decision so far i've had hard days obviously it doesn't everyone and i've had days where i want to go back home but in the end this is a challenge that i challenge myself and i encourage all of you to challenge yourself in some type of way that makes you uncomfortable i don't know if i have any more to say the main thing i just wanted to get across that high school does end and you are not alone we all have some hardships in high school in school in general it comes to an end and you will find your purpose and if you are sad right now and watching this just know you matter you're gonna find your purpose and you're gonna strive and do well whatever that purpose is and whatever you're meant to do on this earth okay so if you're meant to be a doctor girl you gonna be a doctor and you ain't gonna fix people okay but i hope you guys really get what i'm saying through that but i think with that this video comes can come to a complete and thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe i love you guys so 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 much more than you know remember to be humble and self-love is the best love and let's do that again my snap kind of died on that first one self-love is the best love and it's not goodbye it's see you later bye guys if i went to heaven they'd embrace me i've been doing well courtesy of all the haters i've been doing well yeah I've been doing well. Yeah. They asked me how my pockets felt, and they were doing swell. Have you seen the Kardashian team? Tristan, Kylie, Jordan, the fuck? Mm -mm -mm. Talk about betrayal.